As today, the NCAA's top governing board announced they'll allow student athletes to benefit from the use of their name, image, and likeness. In September, California passed the Fair Pay to Play Act. That started a ripple effect with other states preparing similar bills. A month later, the NCAA is encouraging its three divisions to create any new rules starting immediately, but no later than January of 2021. CBS 42's Lee Garner is in studio. She's been following this and what it means, Lee. Right, Sherry and Jack. So it was a unanimous decision from the NCAA's top governing board. So we wanted to talk to some local experts about what they think this means for college sports. Coach, did you get money paid? No, it wasn't allowed. Andrew Zhao wore number five for the Crimson Tide. My true reaction is what happened to it 20 plus years ago. Now he's coaching high school players at Bessemer City. He says he's excited for the young players who will benefit from the NCAA's vote, but. I think it, it like I said, it still has, it, you still got a long way to go as far as, you know, how is it, how is it handled? This is the most American thing to me because how can anyone sell a jersey or a poster, a picture, or anything of my likeness and I not get money for it? So I'm excited for all the student athletes. Now, how do you implement the rules? That's the devil in the details, and that'll be the big Thing to watch over the next few days. Jim Dunaway with the Jocks Roundtable says it's an exciting and important day because athletes are getting what they wanted and because the NCAA is taking steps to establish a set of rules that everyone can play by. And when it comes to that one thing that people keep asking about on Twitter, even the Crimson Tide's current QB, some things you can look to happen. Uh, video games, for instance, the NCAA EA Sports video game went away because of the likeness issue. That'll be able to come back and every athlete will get some money, but there will be some that will get a lot of money and that'll be what the NCAA rules will concentrate on to make sure that it's not a recruiting advantage, that everybody has a fair shake in this. We also reached out to SEC Commissioner Greg Sankey. His statement reads in part, we look forward to participating in a process that will produce an outcome that is thoroughly considered, fair and beneficial to student athletes and consistent with the principles and guidelines outlined today by the NCAA Board of Governors. In studio, Lee Garner, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Lee, thank you.